Well, yeah, I've known a man for a bit and um, I wasn't really that attracted to him, but um, about a month ago we had really prolonged eye contact when this group together. And when I went home, something just, all these things opened inside of me, and like, you know, my heart and mm -hmm. sexual responses, and, and it was just so strong um, that my question is following on from mm -hmm. before, you know, is that, is that compatible injuries or is it a soulmate connection? And um, you don't need to stay here either. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. And it's a very good question related, of course. And the fact that you weren't instantly attracted to this man is a strong indicator that, that it's not to do with compatible injuries. Uh, if it's compatible injuries, generally you are instantly attracted. You feel some kind of instant attraction with a person. So, uh, now mind you, that person could be your soulmate. Because um, you could meet your soulmate at any time. And they could have a series of compatible injuries with your injuries. So I'm not saying they might not be your soulmate. But what I'm saying is the relationship will be very damaging unless both of you are really focusing on dealing with the emotions. In that case that you mentioned, if you haven't had that instant attraction from the moment you met, then it's highly likely, actually, that there is, this is going to be a more pure type of relationship uh, if you now have an attraction. And the reason why that is, is that the process of looking into the, his eyes obviously had the effect of opening up things inside of you that you couldn't see before. Does that make sense? Which you can now see. You're feeling a change. You're critical in your intellect about it, yeah. But here you're feeling something different. You're feeling like, oh, what's going on? And this is often the feeling you have when you meet your soulmate, actually. Right? So I'm not saying he is your soulmate. What I'm saying is often the feeling you have when you meet your soulmate is intellectually you've got all these criticisms. Right? But emotionally, you feel drawn to this person and you don't understand why. The process of looking into a person's eyes often has the effect of opening up you uh, emotionally because, because you're now looking at things, instead of looking at things from a physical perspective, you're starting to feel their soul. You're starting to feel them at the soul level. And a soulmate connection is all about soul level connection. So I've found on many occasions that, like, I know certain people are soulmates, they've met each other, they're not physically attracted to each other, but I know if they spent time in each other's company and just spent time looking at each other from a soul perspective, that they would rapidly uh, connect with each other. So the key for you now is to just explore, like, try to get rid of the criticisms in your head. The criticisms in your head are all the programs that you've been told from your past about what your ideal man is. Does yeah, that make sense? I'm Yeah. And, and so what we often do in our head is we set up for ourselves a list of requirements in our ideal partner. And that is not the way to find a soulmate, generally. Unless those list of requirements are soul-based requirements and not intellectual requirements. So, um, so for example, a soul-based requirement, that the person is a truthful person. Now, the problem is your soulmate could have an injury where his mother beat the truth out of him sen senselessly and any woman that he connects with, he's going to lie to all the time. Now, how are you going to know that particular man is your soulmate? You're not going to if you have this intellectual requirement that your soulmate street speaks the truth all the time. Does that make sense? So you can make these intellectual lists all you like, but in the end it's not going to draw you to your soulmate. What will draw you to your soulmate is you connecting, and this is what you've been doing over last year, you've been starting to connect with emotions about the opposite gender, haven't you? Like, you've started, you started to bring up stuff within yourself, and you can, I can feel the changes in you towards men. Like, you have changed towards men over the past year. So in that process of changing towards men, that now makes you much, much more open to actually recognizing who your soulmate may be. The process of looking at someone in their eyes gets rid of all of this physical stuff and, that, and starts concentrating just on the soul-based qualities of the person. You start feeling their soul. And that's a much more powerful process and it's also the way in which you'll find who your soulmate is.
So when I first met Mary, I could feel her soul. And, and it wasn't anything to do with how she looked. It was about the, the feelings that I could feel within her that matched. I could feel there some kind of match between myself and her. And there was a lot of other things going on, of course, but um, this caused huge turmoil inside of me. So, so much turmoil that I couldn't speak to her in a very, uh, what do you say when you put things together well? Coherent. Coherent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I couldn't speak to her in a very coherent manner at all. Um, because I was just, um, there was so much going on inside of me emotionally just in meeting her that she had no awareness of, but, but I could feel all these things going on. So my suggestion is to um, start looking at all of those lists that you have in your mind and start dissecting them as injuries. Allow them to see these lists of things as injuries. And start allow, opening yourself up to, your soulmate could be any single person that you meet. And the more you deal with your intergender emotions, you, you, it, the way you feel about yourself as a woman and the way you feel about men, the more stronger your attraction for your soulmate will become. And that attraction for your soulmate will actually draw your soulmate into your life, whether they like it or not. <laughs> right? They will meet you at some point then. And if you are open enough, emotionally, rather than having a list of things intellectually of what you require, you will be able to recognise them. You may not feel chemistry with them when you first meet them because of the emotional injuries that you have. And the chemistry may take time to build as each of you work through different injuries. And, but you will feel a, a deeper level soul connection. And that deeper level soul connection will eventually drive all of the sexual chemistry you have between you. So you'll find the sexual chemistry will grow. So I've seen soulmates meet each other and just say, I don't feel anything for you. In the spirit world, I've seen that happen. Where a person has been taking, taken to another person and said, oh, here's your soulmate. <laughs> this is the person God designed to be with you. you know, they take one look at them and go, no, nah, it's not my soulmate. <laughs> you know, it's not what I expect. It's not what I want. And, and off they go. Have relationships with others even, because you can obviously have relationships in the spirit world. And then they come back at some time in the future realising, oh, that person was my soulmate, actually. Yeah, he doesn't feel He doesn't feel that much towards you, do you? No. What will happen if he is your soulmate, what will happen is as you deal with more and more of your intergender injuries, he will, he will just not be able to help himself. <laughs> yeah, so if he's your soulmate, he'll just be drawn, drawn back, drawn back, you know. He just won't be able to help himself. And, uh, and, and he won't even understand why half the time. Half the time he'll say, oh, she's not what I want either, but you know, I just feel compelled. And that's uh, very much uh, that happens between soulmates, just feel compelled. Yeah, that's not Yeah. Yeah. So the, the truth is, you started off without the chemistry, and it's only through a soul connection that any turmoil began in you, which means that there's a high likelihood that, this, that any relationship you may have with this man is going to be much more sort of healing relationship, even if he's not your soulmate, than any other relationship we've had which has been based on more of an instant chemistry. Because instant chemistry generally indicates an underlying emotional condition which is compatible. 